is my salad bowl. I didn't plant anything in here. I planted this particular lettuce, which I think is called, oh, I can't even think of the name of it now, tansy or something like that. It's not tansy. And that's um, kale, ragged Russian or something like that. Red Russian kale. And that's uh, radish leaf, mustard greens. And this is a carrot. As soon as I started feeding the squirrels pecans, they quit eating up all the carrots. This carrot's been sitting there the whole time. It should go to flower this year. And hopefully I'll have carrots all over. But, um, so, because I let it go to seed, and you saw the birds. This right here is asparagus. So, this is <laughs> not food this year, but I'm letting this asparagus grow out so that, um, I can put it in the ground and then it will be able to take over a space and provide me with food so this is a pretty successful lettuce bowl this is what a lettuce bowl looks like when god plants this it is what a lettuce bowl looks like when i plant it see the difference if these go to seed next year the seed will be planted by god and when god does it it's abundant i'll be able to eat lettuce all spring off of this bowl not to mention <laughs> i have a forest of lettuce and mustards and all types of delicious salad greens this is the area i planted so i'm trying to get this one started this year i think it's red romaine i don't even know what it is but um i'm letting it grow and go to seed with the hope that next year and the year after that i will never have to plant this type of lettuce again and then I'll add a new lettuce at that time. This grass has been pulled up by me. It grew wild. It is California grass. It is drought tolerant, but it grows tall. And um, I leave some patches of it because um, it's, a, it's my green mulch. <laughs> it's the only thing I can get is a green mulch. I do go and scavenge for leaves and stuff in the neighborhood and put them out, but that's just laid down as a green mulch. I'm getting a nice canopy of leaves turning into mulch over there, and that's what's feeding these. These are um, low requirement foods, it, like my pumpkin, oh my God. I had to put so much fertilizer. Well, I put soil. I had to stack up the soil like two foot high just to get these little pumpkins. And this plant has been with me all summer. And the pumpkins, that's his, let me show you. That's as big as I could get as on my Amish pie pumpkin. These pumpkins would, if I were in the north and I had all those leaves in the soil from years and years of leaf mulch and all that, this pumpkin could be as big as me. Alas, <laughs> I'll just have to settle for my Amish pie pumpkins because those do good, not Amish pie, my Long Island cheese pumpkins do good here and they don't need as much food to get big. But these Amish pie, they want that leaf mulch and lots of it.